Hey there! Welcome back to Teacher C Tutorials. Today, we're diving into hypothesis testing using the Z-Test. If you want to learn how to do hypothesis testing, specifically Z-Test for the mean, then this video is for you. Let's get started. Here's the problem that we'll solve. A company claims that the average lifespan of its batteries is 500 hours. A researcher wants to test this claim. They randomly select 40 batteries and find the sample mean lifespan is 490 hours with a standard deviation of 20 hours. Now, at level of significance 0.05, can we conclude that the average lifespan of these batteries is less than 500 hours? Let's break this down step by step. The first thing we do in hypothesis testing is to set up our hypothesis. The null hypothesis for this problem is that the average lifespan is 500 hours. While the alternative hypothesis will state that the average lifespan is less than 500 hours. We will be performing a one-tailed test since we're only interested in whether the mean is less than the claimed 500 hours. Next step is to identify the level of significance which is given as 0.05. This means we're allowing a 5% chance of rejecting the null hypothesis if it's actually true. Next, we calculate the test statistic using this formula. Z equals sample mean minus population mean all over population standard deviation over the square root of the sample size. Now, let's substitute the values. Our sample mean is 490, the population mean is 500, the standard deviation is 20, the sample size is 40. So let's solve. 490 minus 500 is negative 10. 20 divided by square root of 40 is 3.1623. Negative 10 divided by 3.1623 is approximately negative 3.16. So, the test statistic is Z equals negative 3.16. For a one-tailed z-test at 0.05 significance level, the critical z-value is negative 1.645. You can find this using a z-table. Step 5, now compare the test statistic z equals negative 3.16 to the critical value negative 1.645. Since our computed z-value negative 3.16 is less than the critical value negative 1.645, we reject the null hypothesis. If we will plot this under the normal curve, negative 3.16 will fall in the rejection region. Final step is to construct a conclusion. Since we reject the null hypothesis, then we can say that at 0.05 significance level, we have enough evidence to conclude that the average lifespan of the batteries is less than 500 hours. The company's claim doesn't hold up in this test. And that's it. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I will try to answer them. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching.